And for my next trick... <laughs> what about the tracking device? Uh, disabled. We need something for An idiot. As demonstrated by your near arrest. Never rely on the manufacturer's tracker. Just found it part here, mate. It's nothing to do with us. Ken's handiwork, then. Wonder if Moira knows. I'll check. It's no point setting her, is there? I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs> I don't negotiate with idiots. Oh, really? That's all right, then. Negotiate with me. Really? I reckon I'll do what the hell I like, cos I pretty much own you both now. Or, rather, the police do. Oh, look. He hasn't touched the car. Take it. I mean, there must be something we can do to make this disappear. I mean, think about it. We could be useful to you. Oh. You need something, or someone, taken care of. You come to us. <laughs> wow. You looked the part. Bet you had them already, didn't you? That's not the only thing he had. He took it too far. He got a bump on the head. Well, Lawrence did. Yeah, you say it like it just happened. Will he live? Unless he bores him to death. You saw the CCTV out? Oh, no, I thought I'd leave that on until after I was caught on camera talking to you two. <laughs> right. Take whatever from downstairs in his room. Not much from ours, but make sure you get something or it's gonna look sus. Well, can you not just bring the stuff down or dump it? No, we can't. Anyway, I wanna have a look around. I'll stumble across him in a bit, untie him, and then we'll come and find you two mid-act, and I'll see you off like the hero I am. Someone's gonna have to take a decking. Any preferences? Do not hit me back. Go on, have fun. What, do you not like free stuff if it's not on four wheels? Are you actually that desperate to impress him that you gotta pay people to let you hit him? Oh, no, the hitting's the least of it. You deserve that for my car. Go on. For I change my mind and make that call. Actually, you know what? You really want to know? I really don't. No, I'm going to tell you anyway, cos I'm not having you, a thief, coming here and judging me. Listen, don't worry about it. I want his respect. I've earned it. Ten times over. But he doesn't give it out, cos he's all about making you dance to his tune. Like last week, when I was about to show my respect for my dead mother and he's busy faking a heart attack. <laughs> I never got to him in the end, so he's due a bad day, I reckon. Obviously, I'll also enjoy smacking you in the face. I'll enjoy it. Cos you won't get another free one. I'm not seeing anything you like. I'm not a thief. Well, that was part of the deal. Yeah, well, he's nicking enough stuff for both of us, isn't he? Cos he knows that's all he's good for. How are you getting on up there? I've just been looking around your bird's knicker drawer. <laughs> she got shares in Spanx or something? Right, I think I know who's gonna get punched. <laughs> you done in here? Nice shy. <laughs> How much is this worth? Why don't you take it and find out? Nah. Looks rubbish. What are you doing? What? I'm making it look authentic. Yeah, we'll just make it quick. Yeah, it's about time I went to go rescue the old get. So you might want to... Guess what I did? Took the wrong purse. All cash and no card, so you can imagine how long that lasted. Oh, my God. <laughs> Him go. No, you got what you came for, so just get out, okay? Grover! No, right, no! Right. Ah! Calm ah! down, right? Hey, we are, we are. Everyone's calm, all right? So there's no need to do anything stupid. Just walk away. Where's my dad? What have you done? Where's Shut my dad? Your mouth, and you will live to find out. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. He was feeling better, so I gave him some money for the cinema. It's, it's, it's all right. Come on, let's go. Nah, we've not got enough yet. Yeah, you have. Shh, 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 shh. Uh, there's a safe. All oh, right. Well, why didn't you say? I just did, didn't I? Fine. Soft job. Right. If she moves, take care of her. Do it. <laughs> What's all that about with the dick in the back? Don't you want it to look convincing? Yeah, not to the point where I need an ambulance. You deserve to be in an ambulance. Since when was your old lady coming back part of the plan? Well, obviously it wasn't. Look, don't go threatening her again, right? You're getting carried away like your mate said. I am trying to protect us. It's just you two are too thick to see it. Where is this safe? What? I just said that so we could come and sort this out. There'll be one, though. Where is it? Right, OK. What do I care? We'll split whatever's in it. Well, I think you're forgetting who's in charge here, mate. 
I think that changed when your missus came home, mate. Now open the safe and step back. Are you done with my father? He has heart problems. Please let me go and check on him. I know you think I'll run and call the police, but I won't. <laughs> Some people put family first. <sighs> right now, you're just a thief. I, I don't care what you've taken. I don't care if you get caught. If my father dies, you're a murderer. So let go of me, please. Let go of my neck. Where are you going? No, 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 You really are more stupid than I thought. Funny, I could say the same about you. Oh, well, make yourself at home, I don't you? What part of keep away from Chrissy didn't you understand? What are you on about? I haven't been anywhere near her. No? No, you just decide to kick off in front of the whole pub. Brilliant, because now she's recognised your voice. If your bird hadn't showed up, she wouldn't have heard my voice in the first place. So much for your master plan. And what when she calls the police? What then? I deny it. Front it out if I have to. It's not like I haven't been here before. And that's it. The sum total of your genius. Oh, well, it's either that or I drop you in it. Yeah. So do yourself a favour. Don't push your luck. Well, it looks bad enough. Oh, you know me. Always happy to help. If anyone asks you, you've got cracked ribs as well. Do you actually think this is going to work? Or you got any better ideas? Unless you want me to break them for real. Don't push it. If you've got broken ribs, it's more likely I'd get done for GBH, and there's no way Chrissy's gonna want that. Well, you hope. So do us all a favour and stick to what I told you. I might actually just get out of this mess. Ah, <sighs> oh, and there was me thinking you were the kind of bull that didn't want to get his hands dirty. Well, you didn't give me much choice. What do you actually care about, Ross? There must be something. Hey, hey! Have you lost your mind? Yeah, I go to the territory at his age. You might want to remind him that I have got an alibi, because he's quite clearly forgotten. Just back off, all right? Look at you. You're pathetic. A grown man and you've got nothing. Huh? No job. No real home. You're a nobody. Ah, oh, don't. I think I'm going to cry. Hey, whoa, 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 wait a second. Wow. Oh, looks like we found something at last. So, what's so precious about this then, Ross? Huh? No. Don't want to share. I just took that, and it will be the last thing you ever do. <laughs> Look, just give me the phone, and I will tell you the truth. Forget it. Too late. Don't need you telling me what I already know. Here. So, what is it about that phone, huh, that's so important to yeah, you? I've got a really high score on Angry Birds. Okay, smash it. No! Trust me, that would really be a bad idea. Do it now! <laughs> Looks like you might want to get yourself some better minions. What's wrong with you? Well, don't you want to know why it's so important to him? I really don't care. Give it to me. Last chance. No! No! Oh dear. You stupid. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Yeah? Is that right? Go on. Take a really good look at your phone. Because if you're not careful, you'll be next. I think we're done here. Yeah, come on, let's go. And you? Hmm? Clean this mess up. I don't think this is an end of it. This is just me letting off some steam.
Boo. What are you doing here? He's that stupid. What do you think they'd do if they knew the truth? Maybe I should find them and sell them. Well, no, no, I, I just added you a favour earlier on. Oh, big deal. Yeah, big deal. It seemed a big deal earlier. What, what's so precious on that phone anyway? This is the last time I'll warn you. Unless you want this whole mess to blow up on your face, you will get them two off my back. Oh, don't you think I'm trying to try harder? Because if not, I will drag you down with me. And that's a promise. What? You have to go. I've just got here. Shut that smug gob for a second and listen, yeah? You need to get out of the village. It's not safe. What, is that a threat? You're pushing people to the limit. Good people who don't deserve to get into trouble because of a law life like you. I'm not pushing anyone. You confess to Andy. Andy's nuts. Keep up. I came this close to doing something myself. I'm serious. You value your life. You leave tonight. Drop the act! It's disgusting! Aaron told me all of it. I know that you shot Paddy. And threatened little Leo. I know that you pushed my best friend to her death. I did not kill Katie. You can't be here! I can't see you every day knowing what you did. Lying for you. Selling my soul to keep my son out of harm's way. You can't be here. You have to go. For once, do everyone a favour and just go! Oh! 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 Doing it. I reckon we need a chat. Not right now, yeah? Well, get out of my way. Step back. Oh. I said step back! Uh, okay. Come on. Chop, chop. Or should that be bang, bang? Why now? Why does it have to be right now? Sit down. I've been chasing my flipping tail for months and everything is finally done. Over with. But then you come at me and mess it all up. Tonight of all nights. I had it sorted. No. You only thought you'd got away with it. I'm sorry to burst your bubble there, champ. Got away with what? Really? You're still denying it? You shot me! All I know is that you've broken into my home and pull the gun on me. Get the hell back. Do you even know how to use that thing? What's wrong, Ross? You've got a little pail. Shift it. No one heard that shot with them fireworks going off, so no one's coming for you. I I've done nothing to you. I I'm not your guy. Andy says different. He told me about your deal. Just admit you did it! All right. Now you have to say it. I shot you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd killed you. I didn't realise what that would do to me, Ed, how it'd make me feel. Don't give me that. Don't give me that! You went and lived it up on a beach straight after! I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stop seeing your face. Dead. So I locked myself in the room and I drank till I passed out. And when I came round, I'd drink again. Pass out again. 
shooting you was the worst mistake of my life. Please, believe me, you don't want to know how that feels. To think that you've killed someone. You felt guilty. Well, I felt nothing after I killed Katie. No, 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 we're not done yet. Mate. Mate. Is that what we are now? Mates. What do you want from me? I want you to beg for your life. Boss? Robert, what are you doing? Get out. What the hell are you playing at? Put the gun down. Robert, please, let him go. Just shut up, all of you! You tried to kill me, and now I get to return the favour. Is he right? Did you shoot him? Go on, tell her. Did you? Yeah. I did it. I shot him. Debs. I am so, so sorry. What happened to letting it go? Well, turns out, I couldn't. Andy, what do you know? You're pretty much caught up now, Debs. Well, almost. Oh, do it. Just shoot me, man. Ross, no! Andy, get her out of here. You want me dead? Come on, then. Do it. Ross, Ross, Ross no! Do it! it! Okay. Stop! Ross! I just needed to see you suffer. No, Ross, get off me! And having her here, knowing what you are, she's just made it all the sweeter. Well, it looks like you're single now, Debs. Let's say, uh, me and you give another Get away from me now! Get Debs. Don't speak! Tell me everything. But he won't be so happy if he knew. Like you and Rebecca at the abortion clinic. Don't bother denying it. I saw you. I gave her a lift, that's all. Mm. So why were you arguing? We weren't. It's because she's still pregnant. And why would I care about that? That's what I wondered. There's only one reason it could be. It's your baby. Are you insane? I'm, I'm with Aaron. That kid has nothing to do with me. I miss you. Running away. Aaron's missing his sister. Oh. Well, maybe I should give him a going away present. Tell him about your trip to the clinic. It doesn't prove anything. Hmm. We'll let him decide that then, shall we? What do you want? A few grand for starters. I'm not paying you a penny. Oh. Then Aaron's gonna find out you and Rebecca were at it while he was banged up in prison. And he will not be happy. Hey, but for five grand, I keep my mouth shut. I think he's worth it. Don't you? So? Have you got it? Yeah. Half of it. But I wasn't the deal. Yeah, well, it's all I could get. <laughs> like I believe that. Take it or leave it. Why are you acting like the big man? Put you bent over a barrel there, mate. There's no negotiation. And how do you think Rebecca's gonna react when I tell her that you've been trying to blackmail me? Well, seeing as I'm not actually with her anymore, I don't really give her stuff. So unlike you, I've got nothing to lose. I'll get you the laugh. Today. As soon as I can. Let's go. Sorry, one sec. I just left some of it. What are you doing? I've got to leave some of it. Just one sec.
it's me. I just thought you'd like to know your ex is blackmailing me. Yeah, nice guy, eh? I've already paid him two and a half grand and he's saying if I don't cough up more, he's going to tell Aaron who the daddy is. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. Just sort him out. All set? Yep. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm calling about the Astro. It's got an MOT on that. Nice one. And how many miles has it done? Forget it. I'm not a mug. I don't think he's there. His car's gone and Paddy hasn't seen him either. We'll try him again then. Oh, just tell me what's happened. Hmm. Sounds like Aaron's done one. Can't think why. Robert! Whoa! Listen, I am flattered, mate. But I am as straight as a ruler. You know, one of these days you're going to learn to shut your mouth. What's he supposed to have done? Me? Nothing. Must have been Bex. What about Bex? Just ring me if you hear anything. I'm just about to call you. Tonight. Are we still on? Yeah, I spoke to the guys. I didn't want to know. <laughs> Taste and make sure it's the real deal. <laughs> it's all good. I'll call you later, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You say, Baker, what it takes nine minutes off your life. I've worked it out, and basically, I'm going to be dead in a year. <laughs> I'm really glad I bumped into you two. I wanted to apologise for yesterday. Really? Yeah, I was out of line. You've got a baby on the way. Your hormones must be all over the place. <laughs> You're a funny little man, aren't you? Bet it'll be weird having a little mini-me running round the place. Have you already run out and got them a matching jeans and jumper combo? <laughs> <laughs> you done? Uh, for now. I'm sure I can think of a few more, though. Robert Sugden, the gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> Top banter, boys. Come on, step it up. You know that payback that I was talking about? He gets it today. I'll be honest with you, you know, of all the things we've done together, this is up there. Yeah. Where is it? What? You know what? Do you mean, like, Wally? Like, where's Wally? Wally? I, I don't think I've seen Wally. Yeah, that's great. Where's my taxi? Oh, you meant your taxi. What did you just say? Actually, I don't think you could have timed it any better. Come on. I think it's just right back. There you go. She's all yours. To be honest with you, I'm not sure how many passengers you're getting in the back of that. Yeah, it might be a tight squeeze, that. You crushed my car. Looking a little bit upset there. Hormones, is it? No, it's not all bad. We've actually we've come up with a new name for your taxi firm. It's a Cuba. <laughs> you see what we did there? See, I, I think he's only seen the bad side of this. Too far. Too far. No, 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 Ross. You see, you took two and a half grand of my money. That Cuba metal right there, that's us quits. Quit? This was worth well more than that. Haha, <laughs> this isn't over. Oh. Not by a long way. What's the plan? Find a nice B&B by the beach for the night. Find a way to pass the time. Without from a few German friends, nice. Most of us get us a few more cars we can crush. <laughs> Here they are, Len and Bruno. She's talking to us. Just two minutes of your time. Uh, well, actually, we're, uh, we're heading out, so... Well, I'll get straight to the point, then. Am I right in thinking that you two both love dancing? No! If he's any consolation, I know him. <laughs> he was the one who told me you both love dancing. You have got horrendous taste in music. I mean, seriously. You rob that off your nan? Don't. I don't know about you two, but I am loving this. Where is it? Where's what? Bertie? Where's Wally? Guess that makes it one all, yeah? Not from where I'm standing. Yeah, I suppose you could say I got a better end of the deal. Seriously nice motor, that, mate. Dead clean as well. Well, it was. We both know this isn't over. I know. Exciting, isn't it? Makes you feel alive. Not for now. 
All this must be a nice distraction from the things that you've actually got going on. Don't go there. I, all I want is the money for the taxi that you crushed. Oh, and enough money to pay for a new one. Then, then you'll get your precious little car back. OK? <laughs> you boys have been so played. You can't crush a man's motor and expect not to get a reaction, boys. I'm glad you're so amused, Adam. Ah, your move. Yeah, or, uh, or, and I know you don't want to hear this, but we could just call it quits if he gives you the car back. No, no, you can't press pause now. This is just starting to get funny. Well, I'm open to suggestions. You might find something in here. Look what numbnuts left in the back seat. Now, imagine if this got into the wrong hands, eh? Well, this was a waste of time. It's not here. Well, you read Finn's text. Something's definitely happening here tonight. I don't know. It's maybe started rustling cows again. Shh. Did you hear that? Quick up here. Ross, this is mad. It's mum found found out that we were using a car. Please. Do we have a choice? No, because the Chucker Brothers crushed our cab thing. Well, maybe you could try blackmailing them again. No. I want to go one better than that. Eye for an eye, car for a car. What, now you've crushed this car? With what, your bare hands? No, I've stashed it somewhere safe, and it's going to stay there till we get the money for that taxi. <laughs> now, come on, let's get this sample. We've got somewhere to be. What are they doing? My guess, something they shouldn't be. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Ross Barton. The gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving. Boy racer. If he's wrecked my gearbox. <sighs> Robert, just don't kick off with him today, all right? You get your car back and it's done with. Is it, though? Yes, it is. Where's the stuff? Safe and sound. Well, maybe not safe. What are you doing? Do you know how much that stuff is worth? Do you want me to stick your head in that thing? And how's that going to solve your problem? I need that weed. He gives the keys first. Yeah, plus the two and a half grand you owe me. Robert! I thought you said we were quits with that. You are really getting on my nerves now. Yeah? Well, you've been getting on mine for ages, so maybe this is payback time. Well, all right, OK. Be reasonable. Oh, now he wants to be reasonable. Can we just get this over and done with? Fine. This is how it is. My car back, plus the money you owe me, or these pot plants are chips. I don't have the money. Well, that's a shame. Well, don't, don't. All right. I'm sure we can figure something out. Boys, I really need them. Look, OK, OK, OK. This is the deal. When I sell it, I cut you in. 10%, 20, 20 even. Or we could just keep it and flog it ourselves. Boy, stop messing me about this. this is a genuine offer. Why are you messing about with drugs anyway after what happened to your cousin? Trust me, it's a mug's game. Look, I, I don't want to argue. I made you an offer. Now, all you have to do is walk away and leave the stuff where it is. But why are you not getting this? You don't get to call the shots anymore. Please, I'm desperate. OK. OK. If you can answer this simple question, then I'm, I might be kind to you. Go on. How much weed would a wood chip chip if a wood chip could chip weed? Ross, uh, Ross, Ross, look, look. Can we just stop this? Yeah, when he hands me my keys over. 
And if I do, have we got a deal? I'm waiting. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> What have you done? My family's future relied on that. Oh, you get back here. Only call yourself a cab. My phone. You shouldn't have tried to blackmail me. I volunteer here on the Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pushed the snack trolley round the wards when old Hilda's off, didn't you know? What do you think I'm doing here, Robert? Rebecca's alive. Yeah, and she's been through something terrible. She's hardly in a state of visitors. <laughs> You're here, aren't you? Seriously, Ross, now isn't the time. She's confused, she's fragile. Look, me and her, we were good, you know, before she left. Well, I say left, but what's even happened to her? You don't want to know. Oh, stop doing that. Stop speaking for her. She doesn't know I'm here, she might want to see me. Yeah, well, right now, she's wiped out. And if you care about her like I think you're saying you do, then you'll go home, you'll come back in a few days. I mean it, Ross. Give her some space. Just go home. Well, there's always tomorrow, eh? <laughs> I just feel like there's never going to be a good time to tell them. Oh. I think Rain is right, this isn't going to be easy. Yeah, because we're sticking up for ourselves for once. Well, they'll be cool with it, okay? They'll understand. So, you might have told me sooner that you were leaving. I mean, this is great. Now I'm gonna have to find a new babysitter for Moses. Hi. And you've been doing so well with Seb lately. You sure you'd want to just move away from him now? Well, I'm not moving away from him. We're gonna take him with us. What? What, you think we're just gonna let you have him? I tried talking to you about it this morning. Well, you can't. I mean, this is ridiculous. How would you cope for a start? I'll be getting a nanny to help out. Yeah, and, and I'll be there too. Oh, is that supposed to reassure me, is it? No. Seb belongs with me and Aaron. She's his mother. Come on, guys, let's be reasonable about this. We're only moving down the road and we'll have Moses with us too. Maybe we could start by just taking Seb for the weekend. Wait a second, well, excuse me. You're not having Moses as well. What? I thought you'd be desperate to palm him off. He's my son! I'm not having some half-wit like her and a deadbeat like you taking him anywhere. I'm with Charity on this. You are not stealing our kids. It's not stealing if there are kids too. No, I mean it. They're going nowhere. Ooh, Marlon, shouldn't have gone so much effort for Halloween. You scare the kids. <laughs> Listen, Ross and Rebecca are here. Do you want me to get rid of them, say you're going trick-or-treating or something? I didn't get a chance to say what I wanted to say earlier. Yeah, we're not here for a fight, so keep him on the lead. Go on, then. We're moving to Liverpool. Ross has got work there, and I'm really excited about a new start. But I'm not leaving Seb. He's my son. Mine too. And I'm not leaving Moses, either. Oh, you want a bet? You didn't even want Seb at the beginning. You tried to blackmail me into having an abortion. It's true, since my accident, you have been brilliant. You really stepped up, Victoria too, but I let you both convince me that I'm not capable of bringing up my own son. Only because I care about Seb. Funnily enough, so do I. Yeah, I've got a brain injury, but I can do so much more than you think I can. And we're just supposed to let you use Seb as a guinea pig, yeah? I'm not asking for permission. Whatever arrangement we've had recently has been informal. I'm taking Seb. And if you want to stop me, then I will see you in court. You're mad. You're never going to win this. Uh, don't count on it. You try to paint us as unfit, but you're the one who barely takes an interest in Moses. The fact that you palm him off on anyone with a pulse is a running joke around here. The stuff I have on you... Things could get very messy if I started listening at all. That's all just hearsay. You're never going to win this in court. Really? Are you willing to take that chance? Because my solicitor doesn't agree. If you want to fight, then I'm ready for one. Because if I haven't got my son, 
and I haven't got anything left to lose.